people welcome back to custom 3d today's video is going to be about the differences between traditional and rapid prototyping alrighty guys so let's hop right into this topic so what is rapid prototyping well it's really simple rapid prototyping is the combination of technology and people to make the process of prototyping ridiculously fast. And the processes that people use in modern times is 3D printing, CNC, um, and you know, if you need it, laser engravers, things like that, uh, that make prototyping really fast. Uh, and then traditional or conventional prototyping is a lot slower, more expensive, requires more people, the process isn't as clean, and um, it's if you want a complex shape, it's going to take a ridiculous amount of time. So let's go into a more uh, deeper delve into rapid prototyping and why it's better than traditional prototyping. So let's say that I wanted to design um, a gear. And this gear is going to be used uh, for a small model that I want to create and sell for a toy. Do is open up CAD software or computer automated design. Go in there, design the gear, save it as a mesh, and 3D print it. I haven't gotten up off out of my chair from my desk only to pop the SD card back into the 3D printer and get that machine fired up. Then, from that 3D printed model, I can go and create molds to then create uh, injection molding uh, parts. Or if I want to cast it out of metal, I can use that 3D model for a lot of different things. Now let's talk about traditional or conventional prototyping and a deeper dive into that. So, if I want to create this gear, uh, I basically need to have a base material. What am I going to make this out of? So let's say I want to make it out of wood. Guess what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to basically draw on a piece of paper through a mechanical draft. If you've ever taken a drafting class, you know how to do that. And then trace a part out onto that piece of wood and carve it out. Now you can use a bandsaw, uh, that, the thing that goes up and down like this, and you, just, you can use your, your hands to carve out the gear. Um... And then you have to sand it and polish it and make sure it's good. And from that, you know, it's really limited what you could do with a piece of wood. So maybe you might have to make it out of metal. You might have to, you might have to literally blacksmith a part out of metal. Uh, you know, this, this type of prototyping is insanely expensive, slow, and 3D printing and CNC have made the process of prototyping rapid, more efficient, less expensive, and more, uh, you know, more people can access it now. So if somebody has a great idea, they don't have to go spend tens of thousands of dollars on a prototype uh, to be created. All they need is a 3D printer and some basic CAD knowledge, and they're good to go. So guys, I hope you learned something uh, and the differences between rapid and traditional prototyping and why rapid prototyping is better and has really changed the way products are created so guys make sure to like comment and share also check out all the links in the video description below and make sure to check out my podcast knowledge is power it's a pretty awesome podcast i interview entrepreneurs business owners politicians and youtubers to share their life stories with you the listener so thanks guys and i'll catch you in the next one